Welcome to R&D with myself, Dan. This is Dan Plays Shit. Dan Plays Wow. I'm on my Warrior once again, but as you can see, I'm not using the same set I was previously. Hop off my Raptor. Uh, I have my PvP set on. It's my Red Blood Hoof-esque set. Uh, there is a new addition to the overall set, however, with Girthalag Voice of the Deeps. I have added that to my collection, and it is wonderful. Also, because of the new weapon, I have gone back to Mortal Strike for my PvP spec, as you can see, with the bars below, including a lovely little throwdown button that... It, essentially, it's an I win button. It's wonderful, it's nice. Uh, as you can see, though, a full uh, uh, PvP set. Not all the greatest gear known to man. I need to replace my my Season 9 stuff. But overall, things are looking pretty swell. Today's goal is to get new boots. Right now, I am at 1489 for the hero, uh, heroic uh, honor points, rather. So, we're going to undo a random battleground or two to see if we can... Oh, hello! Let's see where we're going. Ah, uh, Alterac Valley. Ah, uh, how I used to love you. Uh, if you ever ask me about Alterac Valley, you know, it's it's a tough one. It, it's a tough one to uh, to discuss, if only because I used to love it to death. I used to absolutely adore Alterac Valley, and then things changed, and they made it so we just have to run past each other and wave politely as the Alliance runs by us. So I'm very, very critical of Alterac Valley, admittedly, but at the same time I feel it's, it's, uh, it's, um, deserved. This is episode 13 of Dan Plays WoW, by the way. If you are so inclined, go back and watch my previous episodes. Before I got my PvP on, I did a full LFR on my warrior once again. Probably will do something on my mage here sometime soon. I haven't done anything on him recently, and not for you guys, certainly. So we should be able to do that sometime soon. Ah, something's blocking my view. What's blocking my view? Here we go. For those that have never played Alterac Valley before or have never played WoW before, we have to capture enemy positions. No, 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 jump, please, thank you. And by capturing those positions, we take out enemy commanders, enemy uh, sub commanders, rather, so it's easier for us to kill the actual enemy commander. That's That goes both ways for Alliance and Horde. Mechanics are the same across uh, the spectrum. Now, originally, it was a push map where both sides pushed and fought against each other to control the entirety of the map. And it was a slow, grueling process. I loved it to death. It was such a fun map. A single Alterac Valley used to take days. And I mean days. It felt like a real, serious war. And now it's just, okay, you're going to see us run by and slash wave to the Alliance as they pass by. Which isn't fun at all. Not fun at all. Oh, stop your whining. Check what my audio is at. No, we're good. Turn you leg off. People were diverted to the right just now to go to that bunker about here on the map. We, however, are charging Miss Belinda. First commander to take down on the Alliance side. Should take her out pretty easy. They do usually don't guard her. They're going for Captain Galvangar, who is the first Horde commander the Alliance has to kill. Leads and overpowers and everything in between. All fun and games. Uh, the one thing I know I need to change still in this spec, these talent points, there, where the, uh, the glyphs rather, are still set for prot. This, I, I switched my old prot spec over to... to... my... PvP set, so I need to go and fix that, but for now, 
I'm I'm just happy with with killing. Once I get my boots, I'll most likely do that, and I will not do that on camera because that will be boring as shit. I'm talking dull as nails. Someone capture that? Yeah. Oop, people are re people are taking the towers. Uh, there are calls for people to go back and cap our own towers, but you know, at this point, meh. I really do miss the days where you had to claw and scrape and pull shit off just to get a couple inches of ground. It felt so real and so visceral. And it felt like an actual accomplishment when you got a big win in Alterac Valley. I miss that. I miss that. Oh, we have someone here. Hello. Goodbye. <gasps> How dare you, sir. Yeah, that worked out well for you, didn't it? Let's see. Oh, I can mount back up. Yeah, I keep arcane blasting. I already have you targeted. Oh, the alliance came back to defend. I think this calls for blade storm. <sighs> I'm not hitting anything. Keep me stunned forever. Ah, oh, you probably can, to be honest. Oh, you little shit. Whew. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get back in the fight again. So, Alliance are actually putting up a bit of a defense. This feels good. Oh, no, you don't. Mm. Mm -mm. I laugh at your saps. Uh, people are calling for timers. Uh, no, I'm not gonna report Come here, Magey Pants. I'll give him a toss. you on your ass. Okay, is that... Oh, no, Storm Pegger. Let's see where it puts me back at. Ice Blood. Ice Blood's fine. I can work with Ice Blood. Let's go ahead and get a look at what's going on here. Uh, that tower's still ours. That tower's done. That tower is theirs, but not captured yet. Oh, wait, no. They just got it. It's taken us a lot of time to get in there. I don't think we're going to be able to get this one. It's taking us way too long to capture those points. If you've never seen our playthroughs before, or especially mine, uh, go back and watch our playlist. I've set up playlists for both Daisy and WoW, two games that I know I've been able to record lately. And actually recording at a smooth 30 FPS. Not too bad, not too shabby at all. I am continually impressed by the quality my dinky little laptop can put out if worked correctly. No, you die! No. 
know. Fall over, please. Really now. Alright, they both went down. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna loot your bodies, cause that's how I roll. Still bleeding? No, I'm good. Alright, things are looking interesting. I think they're about to go all in on Drek'thar, who is the Horde Commander. Lion's Commander is a stumbling dwarf. We were able to save Ice Bullet Tower, so it's going to be a little difficult for them, but we don't have both of the Dun Baldar bunkers yet. Overall, yeah, it looks like we probably lost. Oh my. They are not happy. Question is, am I going to get enough honor to get my boots after this? That's the million dollar question. here. We're still holding on to Ice Blood Tower somehow, and we got back Frostwolf. Uh, so, the best the best way of going at things at this point is yeah, just give up. <laughs> They're already going in on Drek'thar. Really? No, no, no. Come here. Oh, come here, little bastard. Oh, we're done. Oh, well. Again, million dollar question. Did I get enough? Oh, not quite enough. Oh, I'm seven short. <laughs> oh, well. All right, that does it for episode 13 of Rob and Dan Play Shit. Dan Plays WoW. Tune in for the next episode where I'm going to really try to get those last seven honor points. <laughs> They're going to happen. They're going to happen. You're listening to The Robin Dan Show on YouTube.com slash The Robin Dan Show.